What you were looking at right now is something I never thought that I would be able to say that I was able to do, and that is get a Great One Red Deer on Emerald Coast. This map is one of the most beautiful maps that they have released into the game and is definitely my favorite overall map in Call of the Wild at the current moment. And to finally say that I've got a great one on it is just incredible, especially after such a long grind. This was a 2,500 kill grind for the Red Deer. That is not a short grind by any means, but it's kind of par for the course for me and Red Deer. And to get this a few days after getting our last fallow great one and having both of those end the dry streak is really just such a amazing thing to be able to have happen because I was getting really discouraged after having gone almost a full month without having a great one. And keep in mind, I'm somebody who grinds for great ones every single day. There's not a day where I don't kill at least a few hundred of whatever species we're going for. Uh, sometimes a little bit less depending on what great one it is, but it had been a long time since we got a great one. And to have the dry streak end with something crazy like this, as well as that fallow deer from a few videos ago, was just incredible. Before we show off the spotting, the stalking, and the killing of this insane great one red deer, Let's first take a look at some of the moments that led up to him spawning. Another possibility of a map that could one-up Australia is some kind of Asia map. It's a very highly requested region once again and could have a lot of awesome species. And then another one is obviously the Texas Game Ranch that I always say that I want. It, it could just have literally everything. And that thing respawned as a four. I don't need fours in these zones. All right, three down, nice. Just a singular red deer. Bam! No! Ugh. They always like to jump in the way. Hey, we got a piebald. Let's go. The first rare of the day. Let's go, guys. We have not got a diamond yet, but we got a piebald. We got ourselves a piebald red deer. Nice. You love to see it. There we go, 183 piebald. Definitely our best kill of the day, that's for sure. Good looking piebald male. Yeah, Egyptian wolf. Honestly, man, I haven't looked into what they're doing with the saltwater stuff for Fishing Planet. I, it's got my attention though. The second I heard that saltwater was coming to the game, I thought to myself, Am I, am I going to get back into Fishing Planet because they're adding saltwater fish? I might have to. I mean, I have to think clear back to the days of the PlayStation 1 and the PlayStation 2 before I can remember like a really good saltwater fishing game. Yeah, it'd be cool to see stuff like uh, actually interacting with each other in the game. I wouldn't mind that. I'd love to see like Red Deer fending off rocks and stuff you know be cool how do you have no recoil recoil management perks levi go to the shotgun perks category and find the recoil management and then level it up all the way and it reduces your recoil a lot the other way is i play on keyboard and mouse so i just jerk down on the mouse every time i take a shot like if i don't pull down on the mouse at all this is what the recoil looks like see but I pull down as I shoot so that it gets it centered quicker. There we go. Got the other two. In my opinion, what is the best moose map? In my opinion, the best moose map is Leighton Lakes. That could just be because I really enjoy hunting them there. But the thing is, if you're herd managing, you want as few animals as possible for that species on the map. And Leighton has the lowest population of any map in the game for moose. So there's way less moose you have to manage down, which means it takes less time to manage them down. 
And that just makes it a lot easier if you're herd managing. However, if you're not doing herd management, <gasps> oh, yes, yes, oh, boy, there he is, let's go, yes, 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 oh my gosh, that's him, that's the great one, let's go, let's go, baby, woo, oh my gosh, in the same zone that we got tricked the other day, All right, I guess it's been like two weeks since we got tricked, but it's in the same zone, holy crap. Finally, the dry streak is done. The dry streak is done. We got our fallow two days ago, and now we got the red deer today. After going literally four weeks without a great one, we end up getting two of them in three days. Let's go, guys. That is unreal. That is absolutely unreal. <laughs> oh my gosh. Dude, no joke. I stared at him for like five seconds, and I was like, I was like, oh, we got a piebald. What rack is that? And I was trying to figure out what rack that is. And then I'm like, no, that's a great one. We did it, guys. Emerald Coast, great one, Red Deer. Oh my gosh. We actually got one on Emerald Coast. I can't believe that. I, I for sure thought that this would be a grind that I eventually gave up on. Because it just wasn't producing. But at 2,553 kills... And a little bit over two weeks of grinding for Red Deer off and on. Actually, more than two weeks now. Yeah, over two weeks of grinding off and on. We got him. We got him, guys. We got him. Oh, my gosh. We got to use the new bow, I feel. I feel like we got to go with the new bow. This might... Oh, my gosh. <laughs> this makes me want to go back to bears because I was feeling just as discouraged on this grind as I do with bears. I didn't think this would ever show. Maybe this means that if we just keep going, we'll get that bear soon. Holy crap, man. Thank you both so much. You guys are incredible. Coming through with that crazy support. Thank you to everybody for being here as well. I just, Without you guys, I'd be nothing. I, I'd just be some guy that posts YouTube videos for fun. But because of you guys, I get to do this daily. Thank you all so much, man. Let's sneak up. Let's try to get a good area to take him down. Oh my gosh, my heart's pounding, man. I, <laughs> There's just something about getting a great one on a map you've never got one before that just makes the adrenaline even more. <laughs> Look at how pretty he is. Wow, man. I love to see it. You love to see it. Honestly, I don't know if I'll use the collar because he's broadside. If I use the collar, he's not going to be broadside anymore, and he's giving us literally the perfect shot. He is literally giving us the best shot that we could ask for. So I think I'm going to not use the collar. Get the recurve in there, though. Oh, yes, Got to get the 420 broadhead tracer arrow. If we just take it really slow and get up to this tree, it should hide us, hopefully. Please tell us this hides. It hides us. Okay. Okay, perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. There he is. It's a phenomenal picture. Oh my gosh, the antlers practically blend in with the background. That is so nice. He's so pretty. They look so good on Emerald Coast. Yes, we're recording, don't worry. I am recording, I remembered. I want to savor this moment, so we're just going to watch him for a bit. We got almost an hour of in-game time left before their drink zone is done. He's so pretty. He is so pretty. This is so cool. <laughs> This is so cool. Oh, you're right. We could get footage for the intro. Let's turn off the HUD real quick. Wow. I love that he's giving us just a phenomenal angle. He's just giving us a phenomenal view to look at him. Wow, man. Just wow. 25 meters. We got him. 
Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. There he is. Great one, Red Deer. <laughs> we did it, guys. We did it. An Emerald Coast. Great one, Red Deer. Let's go. He's so beautiful. He's so beautiful. What a way to end our terrible dry streak. Is he uneven? He looks uneven. Hold up. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's uneven. Hold up. That's two different antlers, isn't it? Maybe not two different antlers, but he's definitely uneven. Look at that. He's a wonky great one. Mid plus large. No, it's not mid plus large because the vines don't go all the way up. It's definitely small rack. Or is it the mid rack that's only halfway up? No, this is small rack. This is small for sure. This is small rack right here. It's just a wonky small rack. Because, yeah, it's got the same number of tines. It's got the same circumference. Yeah, it's pretty similar on a lot of things. It's just a little wonky on the length. Like one is one is longer than the other. Out of all the great one red deer that we have got, I don't think I've ever had one as kind of wonky and strange as that guy. This is the only one that I've got that is an uneven great one red deer. All of the other ones that we managed to kill back on Tiabaroa over a year ago were a lot more even than this guy is. Like even this one that is slightly wonky is still a bit more even than the one that we just got. The majority of them have been 100% even. Now I got a question for all of you watching this. What is your favorite rack for the Great One Red Deer? Is it the big rack like this guy right here? Is it the small rack like this one right here in the middle? Or is it the mid rack like this guy right here? Though there is very minimal differences between them all. In fact, apparently there is a fourth rack as well that is so similar to one of the others that you can barely tell the difference. But even though they're so similar, which one do you guys like best? Let me know in the comments and uh, I will respond to as many of them as I can as always. But thank you guys so much for being a part of this Emerald Coast Great One Red Deer journey. This has been one of the most interesting grinds that we have been on. It was a lot of fun to do. I really loved grinding on Emerald Coast. Aside from feeling like the grind was never going to end, it was a lot of fun and it ended in such a cool way with this beautiful Great One Red Deer. Thank you all so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing as it takes a lot of effort and work to put daily content up on the channel. And also hit that like as you uh, go and leave a comment if you haven't already. And I will see you all in the next one. Peace.